Hello, this video is for Mark and it, it's a very long overview video, I promised this like ages and ages ago and basically I'll be showing how to put copper tape on a capacitor uh, let's see my here okay so basically you have, got, have your capacitor you want to cover with a copper tape and you have your copper tape so first you need to see how big it is and uh, this is what I do no, no fancy measurements here just roll it around and and you see how big it is add like an extra uh, quarter inch or five six millimeters and then cut it that wide and then look how tall it is and then just cut it I already pre-cut it cut it as tall as your capacitor and then to put it around you basically what you do first is peel off the, the tape from the back actually you can peel off the entire length of the tape and then just tape it around if you do it this way then uh, uh, you can remove this from the capacitor so this is something that I started to do that in this way that if you uh, put it that way that it does not glue to the capacitor with one hand it's kind of hard to do okay now I did it because I have to hold the camera and either I watch what's on what is on the screen what do you guys see or I watch what I'm doing but the two cannot be done together why because this iPad I'm shooting it with a pad the camera shoots at a very off angle so if I'm keeping it at the same angle I'm looking at look now it should be showing the capacitor and it shows like totally off so that's why I need to do some acrobatics here to shoot this video so basically you just uh, overlap the tape on itself and it doesn't touch the capacitor body so if you want actually in this case it did touch the body a little bit I have not done any serious measurements I just came home after work and I, I'm so tired I can't even see so basically what when you do it for yourself make it so that the part that overlaps does not touch the, touch the body of the capacitor and in this case if it doesn't touch then you can just remove it and put it on a different capacitor and and basically the purpose of that if if the capacitor wears out you need to change it then you put in a new capacitor and then you can put that nice copper skirt on top of the new cap and then you don't have to do it again so what's the next step we have the uh, the copper screen on and now you see that there is a seam right there where the top layer touches the layer underneath so then what you need to do is get your solder iron which i i have in the garage at the moment i'm working on the car with it so imagine this is my solder iron and i am pressing it so press it on at the seam and then right after that i i have only two hands but also put a little bit of solder there so as it heats with one hand hold the solder and with the other hand hold your iron and then just walk across the whole length and the point is to uh, keep the two sides touching so basically you go along this line and you have both sides soldered so that the two layers form an electrical continuity uh, so it will look like this is a unit that I have removed and, and there's some extra glue on it actually there's not yeah there's some glue and it looks really weird on the camera in real life it doesn't look that weird okay so so that's how it will look like that there will be solder that's keeping the ends together and here I have also added an extra layer to the bottom of this capacitor and you see 
I have soldered those together as well. So basically you will have a, a flat solder strip here across the edge. And for that do not use a, a silver solder, use the solder that melts at the lowest temperature. And, and do not just keep your iron at the same spot forever and ever because you are going to damage the capacitor. Just first touch it and add your solder right away and as soon as it melts there and, and forms a, a puddle then don't, do not me mess around with it, do not make it look nice. If it looks uh, ugly as it looks here you have done your job. Continuity is all you need. If you try to make it really fancy all you will be succeeding is to melt the capacitor underneath and you do not want to do that. And once you have soldered the ends together, one more thing to do is that add a piece of wire to it. So basically for that, uh, here, first add a piece of solder to a, a free end. And now that it has a piece of solder on it and it's hot, now press it here and then add that blob onto the capacitor body. Don't, do not try to solder this on that this way, let's see, like here. Like you put it on here and, and you try to put your solder tip on it and wait until it gets warm enough and then add the dab of solder, you will melt your capacitor that way. Here what we need to do is not to make a NASA approved solder joint, but what we want to do is make a joint that makes electrical continuity without melting your capacitor. So basically first add a tin to this wire like this, you have the molten tin on it, and as, as, as it's still warm, touch it down to the surface and add more solder to the meeting area and then as soon as you have the uh, puddle there as soon as the solder is flowing your job is done and one more thing you can have a piece of, uh, uh, of tissue or uh, or an ear, ear swab like like these guys how can i get it into the camera like this and just uh, have it uh, submerge it into alcohol, isopropanol or ethanol and as soon as you are done with the, the soldering right away with the wet tip just touch it on and just cool down the surface so, so with that way you can stop the propagation of heat to the deeper layers of the capacitor and, and that way you, it will be fine so basically what you need to know about this tweak is that uh, you need to work uh, fast with it. First maybe practice, like practice on a piece of copper tape, try to solder it onto, onto something innocuous, onto a round object and practice. Do not uh, start practicing like for example you got your dual wound cast capacitor, uh, do not practice on that and then you blow hundreds of dollars for practice get something uh, innocuous, something cheap, maybe a capacitor that, uh, that's a, a cheap one or, or you have pulled from somewhere, practice first, do a practice round always with everything new you do and then just uh, when you do it uh, as, as it counts, when it counts then it will be good and trouble free. Uh, I have done this tweak to many hundreds of capacitors by now and uh, there were exactly zero that were damaged by this process. So good luck, have fun, bye bye.